what's going on what's going on fitness family welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be a departure something a little bit different than we normally do on this channel as you guys already know we go to different gyms across the country we review them and give people our honest feedback about these gyms but not today our story today is still fitness related but a little bit different so there's a controversy that's going on with the franchise Planet Fitness. For those of you guys that are not aware, there's a controversy that has been raging all over social media concerning Planet Fitness. So if you guys are not aware of the controversy, I'm going to bring you guys up to speed and give you guys my honest review about that. But before I do that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Also click the notification bell. So you guys could be notified every time I upload a video tour of a gym or a video like this where I'm giving a commentary about a fitness related topic. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to bring up the article and we're going to have a conversation about this controversy that is surrounding Planet Fitness. So I'm going to be using the TMZ website, the reason being, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason being because all the related articles and videos are right here on this one page. So I don't have to upload a bunch of different tabs. So I'm going to say fair use, fair use. This article was uploaded March 21st of 2024. So it is fairly recent. And it says Planet Fitness stock price is nose diving over, we're going to say Autobot Decepticon controversy because YouTube doesn't like that word right there. So we're going to say Autobot and Decepticon just for the sake of this particular video so we don't make YouTube upset. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a picture that was taken in the female's locker room of this Autobot Decepticon. And this is what the controversy is surrounding. So let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of reading and see what we find out. OK. It says Planet Fitness seems to be going through the same, excuse me, the exact same thing Bud Light did last year. And yes, it's once again all about a Autobot Decepticon person who's got a certain group fired up. You've probably heard about this by now. A woman in Alaska posted a photo of an Autobot Decepticon in the woman's locker room at her Fairbanks location, accusing the company of allowing men in a space that she thinks should be exclusive to cisgender women. Cisgender women meaning from the womb. Here is another video, or I should say another picture of the Autobot Decepticon that was in the women's bathroom in Planet Fitness. I went a little too far, let's go back up. It says the original pic appeared to show the Autobot Decepticon in question shaving over a sink in the locker room and the lady who took it ranted and raved on a video that went viral afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to take a look at the video. I'm going to bring it all the way back to the beginning. And let's watch the video and hear her testimony. Good day. I just wanted to say I just came out of Planet Fitness. And um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom. I realize he wants to be a woman. He gets to be a woman. And I want to say one thing really quickly. I'm not going to give too much commentary on the video, but I do want to say one thing. <clears throat> Women in Planet Fitness, from my understanding, don't shave in the bathroom. Men in Planet Fitness, and I've been all over the country, to Planet Fitness is all over the country, for the most part, don't shave in Planet Fitness. As a matter of fact, I have three gym memberships. I have a membership to Planet Fitness. I have a membership to LA Fitness. 
I have a membership to Signature Fitness, <clears throat> and I travel the country, as you guys see on this channel, and review gyms all across the country. And I don't see, for the most part, men shaving in the men's locker room, much less the women's. So this Autobot Decepticon was doing something extra. That in itself is a problem. But let's watch the video. Came out of Planet Fitness, and um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom. I realize he wants to be a woman. He gets to be a woman. I love him in Christ. Well, now, <clears throat> I have to say to her, Christ should not be invoked in the story. Christ has nothing to do with this story. Let's go. He's a spiritual being having a human experience. He doesn't like his gender, so he wants to be a woman. But I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. All right. I just thought I'd say it out loud. And she's not the only one. And none of us really should be. Because you don't know of a person's situation. You don't know of a person's background. There are people who have had traumatic experiences. I'll use that phrase. Traumatic experiences in their past. And to walk into a woman's bathroom and see a Autobot Decepticon shaving in the bathroom could rekindle memories of that traumatic experience that they have. And you guys know what I'm talking about. But this large corporation could care less about the everyday consumer and cares more about a parent to be politically correct. That's a problem. But let's keep reading. There's more. In the aftermath, her local Planet Fitness reportedly revoked her membership. So because she made that video and because she took some pictures as proof, they revoked her membership simply for being uncomfortable and expressing publicly that she was uncomfortable. And here's the crux. And they let the unidentified Autobot Decepticon stick around. In other words, that man in that bathroom is still going to Planet Fitness. And look at this, who has continued using the locker room. In other words, he's still going in there making other women uncomfortable as well. Planet Fitness has also explicitly defended the Autobot Decepticon members saying their policy allows people with certain gender identities to use the locker room that they see fit. Let's keep reading. And here is yet another picture of the Autobot Decepticon in the woman's bathroom. And this picture is dated uh, March 19th of 2024. With that said, they, talking about Planet Fitness, also say people can't act in bad faith on this or they'll get booted. Bad faith is subjective. So what they're saying is, because she took some pictures as proof and because she made a video about it, that's her acting in bad faith. So that was the reason why they canceled her membership. Now, more photos of this Autobot Decepticon have been taken and circulated in the days since all this first kicked off. And as you can imagine, it has drummed up a lot of outraged reactions as it should. Twitter is on fire. TikTok is on fire. Instagram is on fire because of this situation. People are having a very negative reaction to this. And more people are taking pictures because she was not the only person that was uncomfortable with what was going on. And I'm going to say this too. We all should be uncomfortable to a degree. Because if you have a woman in your life that you love, it could be your wife. It could be your sister. It could be your daughter. It could be your cousin. It could be your aunt. It could be just a friend. Would you want that woman that's going to the gym to work out to walk into the locker room and experience that? If the answer is no, then this is a problem. But Planet Fitness does not care about the everyday customers. I can say that openly because I have my own issues with Planet Fitness. Because again, I travel the country and I've been to plenty of Planet Fitnesses across the country in plenty of states. Most of the time, the bathroom is disgusting. Most of the time, the staff at the front desk does not give a you-know-what about customers. They don't care. They, do, they look like they don't want to be there. The customer service is horrible. 
So I can I can understand people's concern. Now you guys have not seen me do a, re a review of Planet Fitness on this particular channel because if I did gym reviews of Planet Fitness, they would fail every single time. So I just simply don't do it. I think everybody already knows how horrible they are. But let's keep our reading. Specifically, a lot of folks on the right have been blowing the story up over the past week or so. And they've been calling on people to cancel their plan of fitness memberships nationwide. And on its face, it would appear a good handful of members are doing so. This is not a right or left political issue. This is a right and wrong issue, not a political issue. Let's keep reading. So that's the, um, I want you guys to look. This is how Planet Fitness's stock is looking on the NASDAQ. You guys can see that, that's the NASDAQ, all right? And you guys can see a lot of the dips. Like, look at this right here, look, look at the dips on the stock exchange. They're losing a lot of money. How much money you ask? Well, let's read. It says, the reason that seems apparent Planet Fitness's stock price has taken a somewhat big hit and their market value has plummeted with the stock going from $66 to about $56 over the course of 12 days or so. The amount of time that has passed since the fire, since this firestorm has taken off. As a result of the stock dip, listen to this guys, their market cap has also fallen around $400 million. Planet Fitness has lost about $400 million behind this. And I say, amen. I'm going to tell you guys why. 10 years ago, Planet Fitness, their uh, marketing scheme was unique. They had a unique price point. They were way cheaper than most gyms. You can get into the local gym for $10. And if you wanted to have access to all their gyms, you could pay $20 a month. That was way below what other gyms were charging. They always had decent equipment. They were always convenient and nearby. You could always find one nearby. There was a lot of advantages that Planet Fitness had over other gyms. And people just didn't seem to be as intimidated going into the Planet Fitness because their uh, marketing, uh, their marketing, uh, what was what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Their Logo, not their logo, their, uh, why is it slipping me right now? Their mantra, I apologize. Their mantra was, it's a no judgment zone, a judgment free zone. That's what it is, right? But times have changed. Now Planet Fitness has competition in that price point. You have gyms like The Edge Fitness. You have gyms like Orange Theory Fitness. You have gyms like Blink fitness. You have gyms like Crunch Fitness that are within the price point of Planet Fitness, but they offer their customers a better experience and they're more diversified in the equipment that they offer than Planet Fitness is at the same price point. And they're all national chains as well. So this is not 10 years ago. The executives of Planet Fitness cannot treat customers however they feel like because People don't want to pay more money for a gym because now they have competition. That's the point. So these guys have lost over $400 million. Why? Not because people don't want to work out anymore, but because they're going to go to your competitors. And I say, amen. As a result of the stock dip, their market cap has fallen around $400 million, going from about $5.3 billion to about $4.9 billion over the course of five days starting last week. Now look at this, guys. This is a post on TikTok from Libs of TikTok. It says, holy expletive. This is an actual Planet Fitness commercial. They really don't know which locker room men and women are supposed to use. They make a mockery of women. It's a joke to them. Now I want you guys to pay attention to this commercial really quickly. I'm going to prepare you guys for what it is you guys are about to see. They're using a female bodybuilder in this commercial. 
But when you see the female bodybuilder, this is someone that can be mistaken for an Autobot Decepticon. Upon first look, you're not sure if it's a man or a woman. It is a woman, it's a female bodybuilder, but someone that's not familiar won't know. Before this controversy ever hit, they already made this commercial and they're trying to hide it and suppress it now that the controversy is here. Check it out, check it out. Finish our tour with the locker rooms. After you. No, no, after you. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Had a tickle in my throat. I don't know which one you're supposed to use. Dum 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 cool. So what's been happening <laughs> is that when, when this controversy hit, they've tried to hide this commercial. But, you know, the Internet always remembers. You can't hide anything from the Internet. Uh, it says tough times for those in the thrust of cancel culture, which is still going strong. This, this video and this controversy is not about cancel culture, ladies and gentlemen. You know, TMZ is one of those uh, Autobot Decepticon friendly websites, friendly companies. This is not about cancel culture. This is about right and wrong. And a lot of these large corporations really don't give a good you know what about their customers, how their customers feel. So the customers are making their feelings known by A, canceling their memberships, going to competitors, and going online and letting people know how horrible Planet Fitness is in this particular instance, as well as other instances. And like I said, if you guys head over to uh, TikTok and just type in Planet Fitness Boycott, you guys are going to see hundreds of videos of people that have canceled their memberships and the horror stories that go along with it. And I say, amen. Not that I want to see or I'm pushing for any particular business to be financially uh, affected. Really? That's not what I'm saying. But just because you are a large corporation doesn't mean that you should not take the feelings or the consideration of your customers into mind when you guys are making decisions. It's not just Planet Fitness. I feel like even the LA Fitness brand, some gyms are good, some gyms are bad. You guys see, I have some uh, reviews on this channel of LA Fitness that are good, and I have some reviews of LA Fitness that are bad. And I'm going to get around to the edge. I already did one, but I'm going to get around to some more of them. I'm going to get around some more to some of these crunch gyms and some of these blink gyms, etc. I'm going to hit them all. Because just because you have a billion-dollar corporation, it does not mean that you don't get to consider the feelings of your customers. And that's my honest opinion, how I feel about this particular controversy. How do you guys feel about the controversy? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys think. Once again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. All right. Um, and I will see you guys on the next tour. All right. I'm out of here, guys. Using the powerhouse of vitality. Unleash your inner energy with our cutting edge energy and muscle builder. Feel the surge. Conquer the day. Elevate your performance. Redefine your limits. Power up with Muscle Force Max. Fuel your potential. Ignite your strength. Order now for a life charged with unstoppable energy. Visit EliteElements.com.